Hi everyone, now uh, recently I tied uh, this fly here, I'll just show you. This is a pattern by a gentleman called uh, Louis Mina and uh, it's a Cote de Leon drive type fly, really beautiful uh, style of fly pattern and it really did cause a lot of interest and there was another version of this fly, like a CDC version. Now, uh, basically I've been sitting tying one or two and I get many, I get at least three times get asked if I would tie the CDC or a version uh, like it with the CDC and this is one of the flies here now. This is a size 14, uh, this is a 16. So I'm going to be tying uh, basically the CDC version or a version. Uh, so we've got the hook, size 16 as I say. This is the uh, full and milk, again, uh, it's the barbless hook, uh, size 16. It's a nice point on it, it's really nice. I'm using a, a light K-Hull Uni 8 thread to tie the fly, so I'm just waxing it. It's this one here I'm using, uh, just, it's just a lighter thread colour to go with the, the fly. So basically I run down maybe 3-4 th mil, come back up. Make sure you wax your thread because you need the grip. Now give yourself a, a mil and a half it anyway. Now the other question I got was, I mentioned about, I talk, spoke about uh, the white and cock de Leon. Now this is one of the feathers from the, this is from a saddle. There was, so this one's a medium, uh, it's what the what white and call a medium pardo. So it's quite a nice colour. Uh, so I'm taking a few fibres out. And uh, another question I got asked, I got lots of questions to say, uh, do you stack, do you have to stack the feather? Well, sometimes you do, so I want a nice mix, uh, you can stack it, but if you tear it off, obviously you've got all these wee curly ends there, you basically got to take them away. So if you're going to stack the feather or fibre, basically put it in, tips first, it's a small stack in this case. Just tap it on your desk, uh, and the tip should be lined up, there we are. And uh, we tie them again, we tie them forward. So you're looking length of the hook, tied forward. There's returns. I'm just going to use my nail to just spread the fibre, just spread it. And tighten up. Just encourage this, it, it will, it's be, much better if you can do that, just make sure the, these fibres are spread. I mean this is like a, well this pattern is very, what I would call like a quill gordon uh, pattern. So trim that away, trim it at an angle as you see. And then we carry on down, put a tail on, now I'm going to use the same cock de Leon. So I'm going to use four to six fibres, just bring them 90 degrees for the stem, tips will line up. You're looking hook length for the tail, it could be longer if you want, it's up to yourself. Now just catch on the top and then keep the hold of the tips, come underneath where I turn the thread. And then basically pull towards the eye, this will lift the fibres and spread them. And then you lock it down a couple of turns just to... You see how it flares them out, and then we can trim away. Now the body, it's just basically a natural quilt, uh, just a strip peacock quilt. Uh, I've got a couple on my desk here, I've got the, the both, and this is a nice, I don't know if you can see, it's just got a tinge of olive in it. Uh, it's a nice colour, you can use this, say the natural itself. This is a great wee colour, it's just a pale olive. Just trim this. When you tear it away, you get a wee bit of the stem on the, the end of the, the quill, so you can trim it at a slight angle. It actually makes it easier to tie in. So just catch on the top. Now make sure you wax your thread nice and tight. We wind up. Stop it maybe a mile and a half from the cock de Leon. Oops, before we do that. You can use either super glue, a thin fine, fine coat of varnish, 
onto the body. But just wind over this and that will stick the, the quilt and make it last far longer. So here we are, another turn there. Make sure it's secure. Trim away. Take your time. Now, I have a couple of, now this is unusual. This CDC I've got here is actually from a goose. So, obviously, if you haven't got the goose, uh, I've had this for a long time. Uh, just light the colour, it's a very pale dun. You can see it's quite strong in fibre. So I just fancy using it up. I came across it just the other day. So see, I've had it for a while, never used it, and I'm going to tighten this fly. But if you, obviously, if you just use normal CDC, either dyed or natural, say, duck, mother duck. You want to line up the ends. Tie them basically on the top. You could be much the same length as the Crop de Leon, or just slightly less, I just want to be slightly less, let me see. Yeah, that looks fine. And three or four turns there, make sure it's secure. Now, dubbing I'm going to be using, I want an actual dub, so I'm just using some of the, the new full and mill dubbing. Now, this one is called Euro Nib Flash, light hairs here, and you've got a bit of UV in it. It's got a bit of gold in it as well. Uh, I like, I want something with a wee bit of guard here in it, some wee bit, even a wee touch of flash. Not too much. Just use what you have, I just want to try it, see what it's like. So I want it not too tight. Just gonna dab it on just to check where we are. I want to brush some of this out into the actual the wing. So I'm just stretching it out, putting some thread turns through. I want to basically come in here, give me my nail, make sure there's a space there. And I'm gonna bring my some of the dub into the front, not a lot. Take away what you don't need, stretch it out, just stroke it back and then come through it with the thread turns a wee bit, just to tighten it up, two or three turns, see what it's like. The cord of Leon fibre is quite stiff, so see how it sits up, that's fine. Now at this point obviously take away the excess dubbing. Always better if you can, because you've got a wee bit of dub in there, it's easier just to put some varnish on your thread. And then wet finish. Just pull the wing back. There we are. Then we can trim that away. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut the CDC at the back. It's part of the wing. I'm just going to set it forward a wee bit. And I'm going to basically a straight cut for the middle of the body to bring the scissors up, trim. Oops, trim a wee bit better than that. And then what I'm going to do is get my Velcro. I want to brush in some of the, the dubbing. Just brush it towards the wing and fluff the, the CDC and the dubbing into itself just so it blends. Especially on the top anyway. And just brush it back. And there we are. It looks, it looks really nice. Nice fishy looking fly. Uh, the crop dolly on fibre. Sitting nice. I'll turn it around a wee bit so you can actually see it. Uh, you can see the Cock de Leon, it gets a nice mix, a lovely shine off it. So it's spread well. Once you start to cast it, you'll get a better shape. But it's a lovely done like shape. I can see that fishing really well. Now there is obviously other patterns you can try. I mean I've I've had a mess about. Uh it was obviously the bigger one. I even tied there's a nice grey coloured body. This one. And uh, olive with the CDC. Uh, tie, there's one or two extra. 
uh, even there, this one, this is a bit of fun, uh, this, the quill, uh, when you're stripping these uh, cock de leon uh, feathers, you get a lovely quill, so I actually lifted one and I put it on the body, you can see there it looks, looks apart, so don't waste anything, try it, put it on, put it on the fly, give it a go, so anyway there you are, that's uh, a CDC kind of version of uh, the Louis Mina fly, nice pattern, the dubbing blend seems to work well in there, it'll float very well, I'm sure it will, so anyway, once you start to cast it, it'll sit back a wee bit better, again once you have a few casts, nice pattern, so anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, and again, thanks for watching.